uh, standing up is an issue because I actually right then started dancing a little bit. Oh, and I stopped myself. you started dancing. Come I on, stopped. do no, it. My toes were wiggling. Come on, Giovanni. And then I got embarrassed yeah. and I stopped. No, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> That's Ew. Giovanni. Hi, this uh. is Callie Lewis. <laughs> and welcome to NAB Show Live 2015, where we dance. No, or at least no, we, we try don't. and get our, our host to dance. And maybe are, our maybe our guests will. We're having a good time, and we're close to the end of the day today. We've got we are. Uh, one more guest and one more panel going on today, and um, I'm excited about what our next guest has brought. I don't even know. I have no clue I, what it is. I don't either. But holy cow, it looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have brawn color, Michael and Dan joining us, and uh, before first of all, before we get to the torture device. Um, because I don't know what that looks like other than <laughs> uh, Someone's about guys, to get hurt. You guys enjoying an AB show? Absolutely, absolutely. Good. Absolutely Good. great, yeah. Good. Will you dance for us? Ooh. Ooh. We'll see how this when goes. We're looking out here to our marketing team. Should we dance now? Yeah, <laughs> oh, the marketing no. team says Are no. <laughs> Are they doing okay They've so seen far? Me dance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do you have at Brown Color for us? Okay, today at NAB, we're, we unveiled a new product. Uh, oh, wait, I think we were supposed to do charades. Charades? Were we charades? supposed to? Like, sounds like? Sounds, no, we're not going to do charades. No? We're, okay. No dancing, yeah, yeah, yeah. no okay. charades. Okay, I thought I'd try. <laughs> so today at NAB, we launched a new product, um, a new lamp head, new HMI lamp head. Uh, this is an extension of the 1.6K, the 1600-watt HMI lamp head that Broncolor has had on the market since Photokina last year, last September. Uh, this new lamp head allows us to use it inside of a parabolic umbrella in a very efficient way, in a very elegant way. So we have this 1.6K lamp head, which is called the Broncolor FT system, or the Broncolor FT 1600, which consists of a focusing rod, okay. a lamp head, and an ignition component that okay. ignites the gas in the circuit. There's also a counter reflector for once we put it into the parabolic umbrella, oh. which we have over here. Okay. Can we get in on that? Let's yeah. So the parabolic umbrella being something that um, Braun Color really has pioneered a decade or a little decade of experience in this, and then 50 years before that in lighting. Um, so we've kind of earned our bones doing it, and it's a design that we've carried over. Whoa! Um, but it's also one of the easiest assembling light modifiers on the market. We nice. Snap together. No rods. Look at that. No rods to lose. <laughs> well, you can. St well, I can still poke that in, there, in my but eye. Yes, you, yeah, you could. It's pretty that difficult to break this modifier. So it's uh, so simple to set up, and you saw it. It's five seconds to yeah. set this up. Yeah. And it comes in four different sizes: an 88 centimeter, a 133 centimeter, wow. a 177 centimeter, and a 222 centimeter. Uh, so we go from a, a, a compact three-foot size to mm -hmm. about an eight-foot size. It's a yeah. quite a range That's of amazing. Sizes. How does it attach to the lamp? Let's just, Super simple process. Um, one man operation that's been in the heart of the para. Um, you have a stand mount that talks to any combo stand, a junior pin on it. Uh, line it up. Lock it in. And then once, imagine me as the human light stand. OK. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to think of myself as yes. a wind-up first. Watch, watch out on the you other know, side. Yeah, yeah. Up, up, up. Up. And Michael's going to just through. lock into that tube. And then we're going to swap sides I've had here. light stands that were a little bit more stable. I've got to be honest with you. <laughs> and then we just attached the igniter unit on the back here. Wow. They have this down, don't they? This is the first light stand you've ever seen with uh, student loans, no wow. less. Yeah. Can, uh, we, can we plug this in? Do we have the... Um, while it no? is a 1600, which means okay. you can plug it into any 20 amp circuit, you know, it's household safe. Um, engineered for, you can get the ballast in 120 or 220, a flicker free 1600 watt ballast up to 2000 frames per second. Um, I guess we don't have a line run up okay, here. Okay, that's fine. No <laughs> I didn't um, know if we'd and so run as you it. see on the back, you still have that igniter unit. This talks to just a standard swivel, and on the front, you spot flood the light. I don't know. Oh, Michael wow. Spot okay. Watch. Can we see yeah. here? There we go. Yeah, they're yeah they got and it. And the counter, you want to. Flood it yeah. for a second. And the counter reflector pops into the. And what that counter reflector is doing is just uh, blocking the direct light from the point end of the globe. Oh. Um, so everything that you have is, is going softer. to the parabola. Okay. Yep. Um, so as you pull it back, it's a little bit more spot, a smaller source, um, a little bit harder of a light. And then as you go forward on it, it's a little bit more flooded. 
and it retains its quality. It still has uh, tooth and definition to the light, but it wraps around you in a, in a way that no other light modifier on the market does. Yeah. Um, wow. Another way to think about it, because it is a true parabolic reflector, when it's focused, the light is really coming out parallel to the reflector. So you're getting a light spread that's just coming out, and the light throw is extremely far, mm -hmm. extremely focused, but not too hard. Okay. And then when it's defocused, Woo! oops, yeah. all good, <laughs> all good. <laughs> when it's and welcome to live. <laughs> <laughs> when it's defocused, the light only touches the very edge, the very perimeter of the umbrella. Okay. okay. So you have about five centimeters, two, three inches here where the light is touching, which makes it into a giant ring flash. So the, the effect is that of a giant ring flash, but what it means is that you have a light source now where you can have a single light source where you might have had to use four or five 4K PARs with a bunch of diffusion to get the same effect to try to wrap around a subject yeah. and create a really smooth transition from shadow to highlight and make a three-dimensional scene. Hmm. You can do that with one light here that you can set up in what you saw five seconds. Is, yeah. is, is there a, a movie or a style of, of either you know, <clears throat> cinema or, or photography that you could point to that would give us an idea to visualize what, what, what kind of light this is going to cast and what this might look like? Because well, yeah, I, I know it's new on the market, but, uh, yeah. you know. Our um, the, the specific, the parabola, the umbrella design, and this is a parabolic reflector to say, um, it really finds its home in high fashion and high commercial, okay. you know, beauty okay. looks, um, where you're going to see in your cosmetics and your high fashion. And that's where that wrap of light really, really does win. Um, and the controllability and having, you know, how much fall off do I have? How much wrap do I have in a single single um, light fixture and it's you know as hard or easy as doing this um, super super versatile on that and right now we're showing it with the 1600 watt HMI the modifiers themselves are rated for 2k tungsten and a 2k single ended globe which means we can also support smaller wattages and a wide range of fixtures in the same system in of itself okay. That's awesome. So it was just released now. So what's uh, is it available now? Is it available in a month? It'll, it'll be available in June. June. Okay. okay. And pricing? Pricing, the components are priced separately. The umbrella and the lamp head complete for the 1600 watt HMI comes in just under $10,000. Okay. In the, in the human light stand, how much is that? <laughs> he, you'll have to talk to him about that. He's quite uh, sure. My agent, actually, you'll have to. <laughs> we'll work it out. We'll work All right. it out. All right. You're going to have to have a better handle on the ignition. System. Yeah, well, that's yeah. Prototype. I mean, that's prototype. I'm a prototype. I should have I should, I lit the, I should have lit the specialist <laughs> to that. Well, Bron color, and it is uh, Hasselbladbron.com. Hasselbladbron.com. Yep. Awesome. Hashtag Bron color. Yep. Fantastic. Fantastic. That is an much. exciting demo that we just got there to end out, not the day, but the interview session. Yes. So thank you guys for your time. Great. Enjoy an AB show. Uh, we have a panel coming up where actually they're going to be a part they're of that panel. Here, yeah. So they're going to stick around. Uh, and we have other people joining us to wrap out the day. I'm going to go plug that light in and take a selfie. I'm still looking for that um, all-you-can-eat buffet that uh, okay. somebody said earlier. So okay. We'll go to that. Okay. You guys Thank stick you around. Thank you so much. We will be back uh, shortly and all week long. Geekbeat.tv slash NAB show. I'm Callie Lewis.